In this video, we are looking at the performance of Disney Dreamlight Valley on my M2 MacBook Air with 10 core GPU and 16 gig of memory. Dreamlight Valley arrived on the Mac App Store back in December, I believe. It's currently selling for $30 and is only playable on a Mac with an M chip. So unfortunately, Intel based Macs are out of luck. The game supports controllers, which is how I will be playing, and to measure the performance, I'm using the Metal Performance HUD. I'm starting with the resolution at 2560 by 1440 with all graphics settings on high and V-Sync turned on. This is how I intend to play the game. When the camera is still, such as when you're talking to an NPC, the FPS is close to a locked 60 with these settings. However, as I pan the camera, the FPS does drop as low as the mid 40s. You can also see some sort of stuttering happening right here, but I think this is due to the game's camera jumping around and not necessarily the hardware. During actual gameplay, however, the FPS settles between 50 and 60 with only the occasional dip into the 40s, which doesn't bother me for this type of game. Now, I'm going to lower all the graphics settings to medium, but keep the resolution at 2560 by 1440. I do not recommend using these settings. As you can see, the FPS is now capped at 30 due to the medium graphics preset, and the game looks really choppy. If you want to lower some graphics settings to medium, just make sure you leave the graphics preset on high so you don't get that 30 FPS cap. Now I'm going to lower the resolution to 1920 by 1080 and turn up the graphics preset to ultra. Again, I don't recommend using these settings. Out of the gate, the FPS is close to what I was achieving at 1440 with the settings on high. However, the dip in FPS is more frequent and can be much more drastic and long lasting with these settings. I also don't see a significant difference between high and ultra to warrant using it, especially at the sake of resolution and frame rate. And lastly, I'm keeping the resolution at 1920 by 1080, but lowering all graphic settings to high. These settings are the best for achieving a reliable 60 FPS. This performance test only lasted 15 minutes. During an extended play session, it's possible that the M2 chip might heat up enough to throttle, resulting in a small hit to performance, but I haven't experienced this myself. I've uploaded a separate video with 60 minutes of Dreamlight Valley gameplay without the performance HUD or commentary if you're interested, but that's it for this one.